Would you recommend Salter Spiral Stairs to a friend, and why? Well, we already have recommended the stairs. Um, it's a quality product. Yeah, it, 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 it uh, well, it was perfect for, for what we needed in this house, and um, we knew we wanted a spiral stair, and we had a lot of difficulty finding just what we wanted, especially on the internet, and Salter actually was one of the ones that was really easy to work with. Excellent. Could you give us a quick overview of the project regarding the spiral stairs? Well, it's, it's a, a small but two-story house that uh, was originally designed with a loft that we inverted and used the basement as a bedroom. So we needed something that would be uh, economical in space that could uh, connect the upstairs and the downstairs but we needed it to fit inside a relatively small opening. And so the spiral stair was actually the perfect application. And um, it's, it had to meet code. It had to meet code. So there are a number of, 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 of constraints um, that the spiral was perfect for. And uh, for a while there, we weren't sure we'd even be able to find one. How was the installation process? <laughs> The installation process was fun. I did it myself. It was a little scary in that we were opening, working in an opening that was five and a half feet in diameter over a 10 foot concrete floor. And after having been used to the floor being previously covered over, it was a little, a little strange. Uh, I was able to brace it with a couple of two by eights across that opening. And um, doing that, I was able to set the pole up and tie it off in the middle of the opening without having the deck or anything else attached. And that, and so I and my daughter uh, put the stair together and it went relatively easily. What was your favorite part of the buying process? Oh, well, the design, I think. Probably the rich design. On the design, using the internet where we were, we were on our computer and over the telephone, they were on their computer and we could actually see the, the CAD program being worked on and make changes and discuss them. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. It, made it, it made it very easy to have the stair be just what we wanted. We needed to have it at a precise angle so that the entry and the exit would be just where we wanted it. Being able to do it directly with, um, with the fellow that was operating CAD allowed us to see it immediately. What did Salter do differently than others, or were you surprised uh, in general in any way? Well, I don't know what they did differently than others because we didn't try working with any other companies. Um, we chose them after doing an internet search, and we liked their designs better, and they had a nice website that showed us their designs and their process. That was helpful. Um, but they have provided very good customer service and were all very nice people to work with. And then why did you pick them? Was it just for their website or? Well, we looked at several different uh, manufacturers on the web and I think found it hard to get really reasonable information. So when we found Salter Stairs, uh, and they were so forthcoming with the kind of information you really need. Um, the angles on the platform and things of that sort, which uh, on many sites it just is um, it's really difficult to say whether or not you're going to get what you need. So this, the Salter, uh, the way that we interacted with them was uh, so direct and we were, we were able to talk to somebody and pick specifically and exactly what we wanted. I say that was why we chose really to work with them. Had we, had we called them and, and just had them say, well, no, you can just get this one thing and that's it, we wouldn't have worked with them. Do you, did you have any worries of ordering your stairs from the company without meeting someone in person? Mm, not really. No. We've ordered lots of things over the internet and as Scott said, we had talked to them on the phone and um, through email, so they seemed like a very good company to work with. Very professional. 
So yeah, I didn't have any any doubts at all. I just no. uh, assumed that we'd get what we'd asked for, and um, we were, um, of course, you know, you can't really touch what you order. You can't really see it and feel it. But we were really delighted with the quality of the product when it arrived. Everything was very exact, and uh, and all the finishes were very nice, and everything was. was Precisely what they said it would be. Yeah. Who installed your stairs? Well, I, I installed the stairs, and um, with our daughter's help. Yeah, with with my daughter's help, it took us uh, probably collectively days. several days um, because there was the there was installing the central pole and the stairs, and that was probably a two day effort. Finishing it and um, putting the rail on and connecting all of the, inter, um, the intervening balusters, which were the code requirement, that probably took me another couple of days to do that right. It was very exacting. Uh, the only thing that, uh, two things came up that would be worth mentioning to Salter in the, in the installation of the stair. One is their instructions describe um, assembling the pole in place without fastening it at the base. And then after you've connected the, uh, the platform, adjusting it for true. Uh, but they, we purchased the wood, um, the tread, wood covers. tread covers, and with that came a plate that covers the bottom flange that anchors it to the concrete floor. There is no way to put that wood plate on there, that cover on there, if you've already assembled the stair and you can't anchor the flange after you've put the wood plate on there. So I had to very exactingly use a plumb bob and the upper platform as a template. I put it down on the basement floor and plumbed in the corners exactly with the opening and then went down and traced the circle of the pipe in the platform and used that to locate my flange, anchored the flange before I put the pipe in and it was perfectly true when I was done. Cool. And that, that's something I had to adapt myself. The other thing that I found that would be worth mentioning is that um, with, the, with this um, continuous sleeve stair which we have, it doesn't show any kind of knuckle joints, they all have to be cut very precisely to stack just right. And we ended up, as I think they say is common or frequently happens with uh, the top spacer being a little too long and not working. It, it, there wasn't enough room for it. As far as I can tell, that's because each of the stairs, when you mount them on the pipe, hangs a little bit downward. And as it does, it adds a 32nd of an inch to each stair. So that when you hit the top stair, you've lost probably three eighths of an inch. Somehow, in the instructions, it would be worth thinking about how to deal with that, because we should have probably gone back and lifted each stair successively and settled all the stairs down before we tried to put the spacer in. And I didn't think about that until it was too late. Sure. And the other thing was the tread covers. Since we got wooden tread covers, which I finished ahead of time, and it took several days of finishing um, separately before we could install those, um, I got a tip from I forget who at Salter, but they they must be installed as each step goes in, because you would not be able to on the continuous sleeve code stair with the full riser, you would not be able to slip that tread cover in um, after the fact. Gotcha. Okay. But all of that stuff aside, uh, those were normal things you face in installations. And I would say that the product manufacturing was superb. So yeah. it, none of that was a difficulty really with the product. It was trying to deal with the mechanical part of actually installing the thing. And uh, it was a bit of a puzzle at times, but it was something we worked out. Awesome. So we're, overall, we're very pleased with this step. Good. 
Well, that concludes the interview. So thanks. All right. So.